Hey, what's going on guys? So, in this video, I am putting all the, the bolts on the pressure plate already. Um, the torque wrench I have is too big, guys, for uh, what I'm trying to do. And I should have um, got, it, got it, but it's fine. My step does like, just torque it and that's it. And I haven't put Loctite on none of them guys, I'm going to do it right now. Let's go with this one first. So that's what I'm doing right now, putting that on there. So like, let me take them all out, guys, and I'll, I'll bring you guys back. All right, guys, we're back. So I'm just gonna like go on a start pattern also. These don't take that much, just 30 foot pins, 35 foot pins. I'm gonna put the air gun real quick to it. The air gun gives us good. That's torque spec. All right, guys. Um, I just finished showing you the pressure plate. Now I'm gonna put this together. This is the Z-bar. I got, I don't know. I know for a fact I ordered only two. There's three. And if LMC put another one in there, hell yeah, LMC. That's for later. Um, so I got those for each one, guys. Like that. And then these are clips that go in here but I was looking at this clip if you can see it right here um, it's a snap ring and it looks to me like these snap rings are better than these if you can see that let me take it out so you guys can see you see guys so I feel like this is better this is what it originally takes but nah, they're only 94 cents you know, it's still, it's 94 cents. So, um, I'm gonna put these on right now. Uh, I got this Harbor Freight, guys. It's the, the cheapest thing out there, but it works if you know how to use it. I barely learned how to use it. You see that, just fell apart. But, this goes in there like that. It was on there like that, and I was like, how does that work? But no, it goes on there like that. And then this goes in there. Maybe you can put it through here. And then the tricky thing is with this, it's like, you cock it like that. And it, 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 it's kind of just like that. But it really doesn't work that good. So it depends on the way you're using it. Since I'm gonna use it this way, I'm gonna do it the other way. Like this. And then lock it like that.
kind of hard. Okay, yeah, and I had to like learn this, so. Yeah, and there's a way that these go, guys. It just doesn't go like that. Like there's a flat, like a smooth side and like a flat, like rough. You want to put the rough side towards, you know, the nylon washer. So the way you take that off is you get one hole and they're like that and then the other one. And you got to hold the tool kind of because it's kind of not that strong, you know, and then just like that. Hold the tool and just take it off just like that. You can see this one's a little bent. Um, just FYI, I got the external. I would probably get the internal ones because this is gonna be in the in the in the Z bar guys and the grease goes through into the Z bar like that. So but for me it's fine. Okay, so we got that off. Let me get a rag. Sorry, kitty, kitty. Okay, check out this one. Well, we'll look at that one right now. Um, this washer, guys. I think uh, I think I'm gonna live there. I don't know if it's the original washer, but I don't think it is. Okay. So the new one goes like that. This is the old one, guys. This kind of looks pretty good still, but I'm gonna put a new one. This is the, the number, guys, if you're looking for it on the internet. It's an LMC, just type in that number, you'll find it. Uh, is there a particular, always look at everything you're getting, guys, to make sure if, if there's a way that it goes. And if it doesn't, looks like they're both the same. Just pops on there like that. Well, it actually takes this. This is first. It actually goes like that. Then that. And then this thing. This fuzzy looking thing. And I'm thinking this goes on there like this. Or does it go right there only? Let's see. Oh, I think that's what it's supposed to be on there. And then this. And then the C clip. I think that's the right way. How I don't know if that's supposed to be on there. Let's try that and see what that looks like. Cause this fits real snug, like. Or maybe it is supposed to be on that. I think I'm gonna put it on there, huh? Cause it even like flans out the, the washer real good right here. I mean the felt washer. So when you put that on there, it's kind of floating. I think I'm gonna leave it on. I think I'm gonna keep that on there. And yeah, there's a smooth side, guys, and a rough side. Let's put the rough... Um, I was actually thinking maybe we should put the rough side up and the smooth side on the nylon so it won't cut it. Yeah, because you can feel like a roughness to it. Eh, we're good. So he goes into the holes like that, guys. Have to get these little... These are cheap ones, okay? So you gotta kinda like be patient with them. So they're kinda like a little bit wonky. Oh man, look how nice that looks. And we're gonna do the other one like that, guys. See, okay, now this one has the original one like this. You see, I'm gonna take it off, I'm gonna show you guys. You see, and look, look, okay. How this one was old already, this was still on there hanging on. And look at this one, if I actually would spin it, 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 it it'll come off like that. So, um, you, this, and then look how it got deformed. See, it's kinda like too thin, so I'm upgrading to these these right here from Harbor Freight they're supposed to be actually um, hardened steel extra strength maybe maybe not I don't know but same thing with this Just take it off guys get the rag clean it and 
then put the new one on there. Yeah, LMC, if you guys gave me a one, hell yeah, guys, hooking it up. Hell yeah. Oh, sorry, my bad. The felt washer. This doesn't really go, I'm gonna say it goes like this. Let's put this fuzzy side out. I have a feeling guys that washer does go here because if that washer was there too that gets really nice but there isn't anyone and like hmm what can you do oh see it's kind of like weird five bucks guys you know you don't want to spend fifteen dollars and only use it one time but then, you know, if you have a truck or a car, you're gonna use it more than one time, so. It's up to you guys if you wanna spend the extra money. Um, this works for me, you know. You just gotta know how to, like, use it. There you go. And that's it, guys. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, I just wanted to show you that the ball's going here. One goes on one side. And the other one goes on the other side. So when you push the clutch, the clutch down, you know, it moves. And that's what these are for. You guys should know that. And I'm just taking off the tape. So I painted them. You know what I was just thinking, guys? I forgot these. The cotter pins. And I need two of them. And I hope I have them in the back of my truck. Um, let me go check that. Alright guys, what's going on right now guys is that I only have one cotter pin and I need two. One that goes in that hole and the other one that goes in this other hole. This is two pieces guys. They extended it because it has a body lift. Um, it's bent here. I wanted to, I should have bent it straight but I didn't think about it that. So this goes in there like that and then the cotter pin, you know. And then for the other side for the pedal. Um, I'm going to have to probably go to Lowe's later on today and get that, guys. Because um, I want to put this in before I put the transmission. Because once I put the transmission, this is really hard to put in. And it makes it a real tight squeeze. So that's what I'm going to do, guys. And um, I'll pick up tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.